Kia ora internet, we're in Rotorua and we're in Whakarewa Rewa. <laughs> I can't get my mouth around those W's and R's. <laughs> Which is one of the thermal parks here and we're going to go and have a look after lunch. <laughs> Unfortunately a lot of the village is closed because of COVID but we can still walk around some of the hot pools areas. And there's no shortage of them. This hot spring is called Tekuha and it's one of the many hot springs around here that are used were used, possibly still are used, for cooking. I think I saw a hangy box further back. Yeah, it's very very hot water so you put your food in a box, you lower it into the water and it gets cooked. The smell is interesting. <laughs> it's um, yeah, definite sulfurous edge to it. Do get used to it very quickly. I'm not noticing it even as much as I was like a couple of hours ago. One of the amazing things is like there are so many of these little springs and hot pools and things that aren't even marked on the map we have of the park because they're not significant enough, they're just there. This whole ground is just heat, very low below the surface. I don't know why it is that boiling mud seems even more like weird and unnatural than boiling water does. Like when it's just in the ground. I just like the sound that it makes. Random bubbly bits. This pool has a totally different smell to the other one. It's like, yeah it does, yeah. Oh, the mist's almost cleared for a minute there. So this is apparently a Jurassic landscape lookout. It is quite a Jurassic landscape. The grass. Yeah. It's amazing that so many plants actually managed to live here. It's quite nice when the steam wafts across you and it's warm yeah. <laughs> and smelly. <laughs> that is seriously hot water. That is so cool. I think it's just mud. I don't know. It's, yeah, I think so. It's like dried mud. Yeah, it's just so gorgeous. I have no idea what's on the other side of this lake because you can't see it. This looks so alien. Oh yeah, that is serious boiling. You can feel the heat from here. Very, very, very hot water. It's a cold day, but I'm quite toasty standing here. Just can't see sometimes. I don't know why I'm filming this, it's like, I think my lens, camera lenses are steamed as my glasses. I just love how every pond has its own sort of character and... Yeah, and yeah. all the different colour as well. Yeah. Oh, this is a pretty one. Oh, yeah. They look so tempting. <laughs> I'm not getting in one though, I mean, even if I could get across the fence. It's like, I feel like you could get across the fence. Yes. I'm not going to let you get across the no. fence. No. 
I mean, even if it was allowed to get across the fence, I would still not go near these things because, yeah. It's starting to properly rain now. But we're not going to let that spoil our adventure. <laughs> It's all missed. That is such a pity that that part of the village is closed because yeah. There's some really cool stuff over there, but we just can't go to that area, which is fair enough because we don't want to give people COVID. So as well as a tourist attraction, the village is actually people's homes. That looks hot. This ground is warm to the touch and the ants are living in it. It must be an interesting challenge for them. It's a lot wetter than when we started. The rain has really set in now. And it's a pity we didn't get to see the whole of the area, but totally understandable. You know, people live in this area and they don't want tourists tramping through and potentially bringing COVID in. So, totally understand why they've shut off the village side of things. It's a lovely place. Even in the rain, it was like, it was just really nice. So many beautiful views and the hot steam was quite nice on a cold day. <laughs> Don't forget to do all those nice internety things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Kakite ano, Tibet. And we're at Whakarewarewa. Whakarewarewa. I can't do R's and W's together. <laughs> Fuck okay, rewa, rewa. <laughs> Come into the video. <laughs>